Hey guys, how is everybody tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Authentic Beauty with Tara D. I am Tara D. And guess what? Tonight, we are going to be doing a launch live. And guess what else? Tonight, we are giving away La Vogue's. Hey Brie, how are you sister? What's going on? Um, when you guys hop on, say hey. <clears throat> if you're watching the replay, <coughs> thank you, Launch. Thank you so much. If you're watching the replay, drop us off a hashtag reunion tour. When everybody hops on, make sure that you tell us where you're tuning in from. If you use Launch products already and what you like, tonight is my birthday. And so one of the things that I wanted to do is give back to everybody else and also break into what I bought myself for my birthday um, and hopefully give some of these suckers away. I'm so excited. So today I turned 51 <clears throat> and we bought ourselves the La Vogue. Look how gorgeous she is, first of all. So she's, she's not plugged in so I can touch her. She's got the three titanium barrels and adjustable temp setting. And I've only used this one time. I did open the box and I did a few little things right here just to see if I could like, if it would look good on me. <coughs> and I can't wait to do like a whole head on my hair for the very first time with you guys. So when y'all are hopping on, say, hey, um, thank you, Nikki. Yes, 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 yes. Nikki makes a great point. Please, please, please share for every 100 shares. We're giving away one of these beautiful hot tools. This is the La Vogue Deep Wave Voguer, the three barrel titanium. It's got the swivel cord. It's got the long cord. I have it plugged in way over there. It's got the long cord. Let's turn her on while we're getting um, started. And then I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit about my struggles this morning. Happy birthday to me. Um, I woke up to a broken water heater. So do you know what that means? That means normally before a launch live, I would wash my hair and have fresh, clean hair for the day. Yeah, not today. It was freezing cold water and I wouldn't get my head under that. So now we have three day old hair that we're going to do this with. So that's gonna cause, that's gonna create like a different product line that I'm gonna be using on my hair. So let's turn her on. So you can turn her on by um, touching this top button. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe I should put my glasses on. Here, is she plugged in? Did I, did I unplug her? <clears throat> no, she's plugged in. Okay. Oh, there we go. Sorry, you touch the bottom button to turn her on, y'all. This is a birthday present to myself. And then, uh-oh, I didn't touch it long enough. It sets at two, it starts at 2.40. Then you use the top button Hang on, press and hold to unlock it. Now I can go up by pressing the top button. I don't know if you can see that. And we're gonna go up 320, 340, 360. I think I'll try 380. I don't ever go above 400 for my hair. And then you just let it set. It will lock itself its temperature. Maybe if y'all can see it better like that. It will lock its temperature, okay? And once it locks, See, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little lock right there. And you can tell once it locks, it's, once it stops flashing, it means it's come up to tip. I'm gonna set it down here on my hot, uh-oh. I hope, oh look, it beeped at me. I hope that we don't have connectivity issues tonight. So let me take my glasses off. Let me shake out this hair. This is three day old hair. Let me, <laughs> this is so crazy. So let me just tell you a little story about why I was so late to the party with this particular tool. I have naturally curly hair. And if you've seen any of my videos, um, you've seen some of them where I'm drying my hair naturally curly. Ringlet curls is what I normally have. What does a curly headed girl need with a Levogue? I was like, if I wanna wear my hair curly, I just wear it naturally curly. But you, do you know, do I have any curl girls out there who love like the beachy wave look? And the more we try to get that, like the more out of control our hair gets. So I was like, the beachy waves that Laveau gives everybody else, 
I'm dying for that. That's what I want my hair to look like. I could never get my hair to look like that in its natural state. Sorry, I'm just brushing. Let me just tell y'all this real quick. I use the boar bristle brush and I rub my scalp and pull through to really distribute the natural oils of my hair. Oh my gosh, I, I feel like I need my glasses on. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sheena. Hey, Dottie. Thank you. Hey, Dana, Columbus, Ohio. How's y'all's weather today? Tiffany, thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that. Brianna, thank you. Hey, Kayla Moore. How are you, sister? Michelle Turek, how are you doing? Alicia, how are you? Um, let's see. How is everybody? Tell me what kind of hair y'all have. I have naturally curly hair, and I mistakenly thought that because I have naturally curly hair, I don't need one of the waivers. And now, I probably don't need um, the La Waver, which is a little bit different in texture than what the La Vogue gives you. The La Vogue gives you the really deep curves and curls. Well, not curls, but waves. The beachy wave look that I have been dying for, but my natural hair just won't do it, okay? Um, whereas the La Waver does a smaller wave, more like a traditional crimp. And I knew I didn't want that because that's what my hair looks like normally. I wanted like a larger wave. So here's what we're gonna do. I woke up this morning, today is my 54th, my 51st birthday, I almost added three years onto myself. And I woke up to a broken hot water heater. So I couldn't wash my hair this morning in preparation for this live. Then I ran to work, then I came home. Literally, I walked in the door four minutes before six o'clock when I was supposed to start. There is no preparation or anything, but so I didn't get to like go, you know, rinse my hair or anything like that. So we're gonna do three day old hair in this. But first, I'm gonna do a little bit of dry shampoo in my most difficult areas since I didn't get to wash. And I'm using the Stardust. And I do a technique that I call smoking. Make sure y'all share so that we can get to 100 shares or more. For every 100 shares, we're gonna give away a Lavogue. So I smoke my hair, and let me just teach y'all really quickly before I go in with the crimper what that means. If, if you don't like dry shampoo, it's typically because you're using too much. So if you see, let me back up so you can see this. Look at how much, if I press all the way down, comes out of here. Do you see that? If I press halfway down, that's like kind of a smoke effect. And so I'm using very little by pressing halfway down and it's almost undetectable. Do you see that? And so what I can do then is in a controlled manner, now you can't do this with a, with a spray um, dry shampoo, but you can do this with the Stardust, which is a talc-free non-aerosol dry shampoo. Um, and you can smoke your hair with it. Just a little bit of light dusting and we're not getting too much on there. See, and then that way you don't accidentally over product yourself. I feel like when people aren't satisfied with dry shampoo, it's because they put too much on. Oh my gosh, look at all these comments. I hope you guys are sharing so that we can give this away. Now my most difficult area is back here at the crown of my head. So I'm gonna actually do dry shampoo right here and underneath it, because this is also gonna give me a little bit of root volume, which I'm gonna need. There we go. Just a tiny smoke. Just a tiny smoke. And then I'm just massaging it in with my hands. Lange just had a birthday recently too. We are almost the same age, Lange. It's like, y'all are five and I'm 51. So now I'm gonna do my signature brushing technique that I love to do for my hair and that my hair loves back. Rubbing back and forth with the boar bristle and taking that hair down. I'm distributing the product and distributing the natural oils and that's important. Then I'm gonna go in with a heat protectant. And we're gonna get busy using this thing pretty much for the first time ever. I've never used one. Y'all are gonna kind of get a real life what it's like when you've never used one before, okay? This is what my hair looked like at work today. 
Look at how that dry shampoo just like literally gets me nice and fluffy. I mean, not fluffy, but dry looking. Okay. Thank you, Alyssa. They have healing properties, so I love wearing them, and it I feel like it really puts me. Thank you, Renee. Renee, I sent you a message earlier. <clears throat> okay. We're going to do um, heat protectant. Now, I'm going to do the Thermal Magique. The reason I'm choosing that is because I live in a humid environment. I live um, down south on the Gulf Coast of Texas, and we've got humidity like nobody's business. So I'm going to take the Thermal Magique, which is a heat protectant and humidity blocker, and it also helps to hold style. And I'm going to work that through, and we're going to let that dry. I am not going in with a titanium hot tool when my hair is wet with a heat protectant. That's going to defeat the purpose of having a heat protectant, okay? Because what does heat do to moisture? It singes it away, and then it's going to singe your hair. So we're going to brush this through. We put a good amount, and we're going to let it dry. And while we dry, I want y'all to tell me what kind of hair do y'all have, straight or curly? Thick or thin? I have curly hair naturally. Um, my hair does not look like this. I did this with La Volume on Monday. Um, I have thick. I have thin hair that's curly. We're gonna let this dry just a second because I do not, absolutely, do not want to go in with um, a hot tool on wet hair, regardless of whether it's a heat protectant or not. Okay, thin and curly, Alicia, you're just like me, honey. Just like me. Um, thank you, Dottie. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you so much, <clears throat> Tiffany. Tiffany, like, comment, and share. Y'all like, comment, and share. How many shares do we have? Because we need to get to multiple hundreds. Because we want to give away multiple tools. I've been talking all day at work. I literally didn't even... Look, I gotta take my earrings off. I gotta take my hair, my earrings off while we're letting that dry. I can't get them off. Great. Oh, that one came off. My husband gave me these um, for our anniversary. And one of them, oh, I got it. What? I got it. I just don't want anything getting caught, um, my earrings. So I like to take my jewelry off. Okay. Now, I'm going to separate out my hair. I'm going to use some clips to separate my hair. Um, one, two, we'll do three. And I'm going to go in. Remember, I've never used this tool before. I did a couple of crimps. I took it out of the box and did a couple of crimps just to, like, spoiler alert, see what it looked like in my hair. Um, but I've never done it all all over my hair. So I have pretty thin hair as you can see and this is dry and here's what we're gonna do. There's one thing that's amazing. How many people have this tool? Put have in the comments. How many people want this tool? Put want in the comments. So here's what I've learned. You can put, apply it this way or this way. If you do it this way, the first um, thing, <clears throat> the first curve of the wave is gonna go down. If you do it this way, the first wave of the curl, of the, the first curve of the wave is gonna go up, okay? And so because I want my hair to be up and lifted because I have thin hair, I don't want it to be down like this. I want it to be more up like that. I'm gonna go in like this, okay? So I'm gonna hold it out away from my hair. I'm gonna get close. And then I'm going to cramp down and listen. Did you hear it? Okay. So see how, let me just show you. Do you see how the curve goes out first and then down? If I did it opposite, it would go down first really close to my head. And I don't want that. I don't want that. I already know I don't want that. Now, Okay, see where this little curve is right here? This also comes with a glove. Um, I, I don't feel like I need it. 
like it's it's so soft and so cool it has a cool tip and everything like I really don't think I do but maybe I should okay so see where that little wave is right there right there I'm gonna go in and put that first barrel right in that wave that's gonna be my marker for my next crimp and that's how I think it makes it look uniform <gasps> we are we're gonna have a winner okay I am in look how look how it like shrinks my hair up oh wait hold on yeah there okay now I'm not gonna go all the way to the end we'll leave the ends out just for fun just for ish and giggles how many April babies do we have today today's my I mean this month look at how much longer my my regular straight hair is versus the the crimp um, it really is cute isn't it that's adorable that's more like the beachy waves that I like okay so now I'm gonna turn around let me pull my pants up so <laughs> so that I don't know show anything um okay and I'm going to go in remember I want my first curl to be up and away from my head and I don't know that I need to wait the 10 seconds but I'm doing it because it, it's a great timer and then I can have uniform hang on let me get it all the way in there then I can have uniform crimps so this is not only adjustable temperature and three titanium barrels, but it also has automatic shut off. And like I said, the temperature locks. And it's got that cute, I mean, it's got that amazing like timer so that you're not, it's not sitting on your hair too long. You can adjust the temp however high or however low you want. Um, also, you can adjust how much hair you're putting in it, I think, um, look at that to see uh, like thinner pieces. I think you would probably have more of um, a more textured effect. Fatter pieces, less, less um, more hair, less sections. Um, you would have a more <clears throat> waved effect. Does that make sense? Thick and frizz prone, Sandy. Hey Sandy, how are you sister? See, I would have gotten all distracted. There we go. <clears throat> Kelly York, how are you? You doing all right? Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have the bottom layer done. And honestly, that's not really a, an important layer just because it's underneath. But when you texturize your underneath hair, Sandy wants it. Um, when you texturize your underneath hair, it's also pushing the hair on top out. And I'm gonna turn around and show you guys what I'm talking about. So because I have this hair crimped underneath and kind of like uneven texture pushing out, it's going to put the hair on top of it a little further out naturally, okay? So, and then we're gonna crimp that and then we're gonna do the same. I'm just gonna brush through with my fingers. We're gonna go here. Sandy wants it. Tippy, how are you, sister? Tippy wants it. Renee wants it. I have an order in with launch. Danny, how are you, sister? On Florida time, she is. I'm gonna be in your state in a couple of weeks. Yeah, Michelle, I want it too. Oh, I bought it for myself for my birthday. I'm telling you, y'all, there's a Mother's Day sale coming up. Let me just tell y'all this. If you want something, whether you're a mom or not, use the Mother's Day code MOM2022. It's literally anywhere from 30 to 70% off of items, okay? So you can go on the website, click the shop, the early Mother's Day sale, and then see the pricing, and then it'll apply anywhere from 30 to 70% off when you put the code in. And there's Afterpay. So, oh my gosh, look how cute. My coworkers would be like, who's this? Who this? Who this? Okay, did we have a giveaway yet? 
I'm just going to keep going. I always use it burning my arm. Do you really? Do you? Thank you, Helen. Congratulations to Sandy. Congratulations, Sandy. Andrea, how are you, sister? How's everybody doing? Kathy Brown, how are you, love? What's going on? Yes, everybody congratulate Sandy. Now, who else wants this? I'm kind of doing thicker chunk of, chunks, I believe. April birthday, Susan, in a week. Okay. Hi, Anna V. Lou. I'm doing this last little piece. I don't think I should be doing it because I'm not supposed to be doing the ends. Hi, Anna V. Lou. How are you? Y'all, my aunt's on. Y'all say hi to her, Evelyn Green. Y'all say hi, Anna V. Lou. Okay. Now, let's see how much hair we've got back here. Okay, I'm going to split these two in half. I'm going to work from the back and work forward. You'll be able, from this side, you'll be able to pretty get a pretty good look. Okay, so I go in and I press down. See how it goes like that? And the first curve is kind of up and away from my hair. I mean, away from my head. And then when you're doing this, uh, here's what I'm thinking. You want the heat of your hair to set and cool, but you don't want to be pulling. See how I've got this like not pulled out like that. I've got it pushed in a little bit. So that way as the hair cools while I'm working on the other piece, the other hair is curl cooling in the waved position. Oh God, that's gorgeous. I can't, I can't wait to get to the top. Okay, we got a boogie. We have got to boogie, ladies. Okay. I'm not getting too close to my ear. Do you know what I mean? Southern Illinois. Hey, Deb, how are you? Y'all are going to see really good. Okay, so see how the top of that other curl is in this first barrel? This is a cool tip so I can touch it. Do you see how I just moved it and then I could crimp there? That's a great way to know where you need to go. Yes, you do. Am I waiting for the beep? Now, remember, I woke up this morning. It was my birthday and we had a broken hot water heater. Mm -hmm. Hey, Paula, how are you? Um, I, we had a broken hot water heater. So my intention was to wash my hair. I did not do that in freezing cold water. Okay. I don't like cold period. Anything, nothing, nothing cold for me. Thank you so much. Um, much less the cold water. And I would never warm up for the rest of the day if I would have done that. So I had to call an audible. I was supposed to wash my hair this morning so that I could do this tutorial tonight. But I had to call an audible and not wash my hair. What this means is we are working with three day old hair. I went in with Stardust um, on a few spots and gave myself a little bit of a hit of dry shampoo. Since now we're gonna go a couple more days because I'm not washing this after I style it. Now, and our hot, weeder, our hot water heater isn't fixed. They told us it might not be able to come till tomorrow. So, what we're doing, see how I'm not pulling that out, I'm pushing it kind of towards my head to let those curl, those waves cool. So, um, you're gonna see product on my hair. I have heat protectant on, but if you see any steam coming off my hair with the tool, it's because I have a lot of product on there from when I did wash my hair Monday. And I used a little volume to, um, to blow it out. Gwen, you would love it. You can snag it actually on sale right now up to 70% off with the link in the, um, look at that. With the link 
in the description and the code MOM2022. And lots of things are on sale. Hair care, accessories, combs, tools, all kinds of things on sale. Um, I just restocked. Ooh, let's talk about restocks. I just restocked. Um, Smooth has been out of stock for quite some time. It is a heatless oil treatment that I absolutely adore. And I am so happy that it's back for, um, it's gonna be like my go-to during summertime. So um, I actually put it on my hair and then put my hair up in a ponytail and go to the beach. And I let the warm, I let the sun gently warm it. And I let it just stay in my hair because it looks like just wet hair, okay? Um, when you have the oil in, don't be afraid that people are gonna be like, oh, she has oily hair. Nobody's gonna think, people are gonna just think that you have wet hair, okay? So, throw it up on a ponytail or a messy bun or whatever with that oil in it. Let that sun warm it up and then come home and wash it. Shampoo twice, condition once. It's amazing, gentle, hot oil treatment for your hair. You won't be able to stop touching it. You won't. I did that this um, past Christmas on a cruise. Okay. Can y'all see? I'm listening for the beat. And I've got to look for the curve and then clamp again. I hope I have all my hair. I don't have all my hair in there. There we go. I use the new Mother's Day sale for my new hairbrush. Um, Alicia, which hairbrush did you get? I love their hairbrushes and so does my daughter. And my son and my husband both, this is a pretty big chunk of hair. My, my son and my husband both got um, hairbrushes for Christmas from the Beechwood collection. Um, I love the Sienna paddle brush with the boar bristles. My daughter loves the flexi brush and the beechwood brush. She can't live without that flexi brush. I missed this piece altogether, so we're gonna go back and just give her a few crimps. I probably need to like separate this. Hey Tiffany, how are you? Love this tool, your hair is going to look so adorable. Do you have this tool, Tiffany? Again, who wants the tool and who has the tool? Put want in the comments if you want it. Put have in the comments if you have it. This is essentially my first time using it. Now, I did take a really big chunk, so I'm just going to go down. It's super easy. You can find the curves and give ourselves a little bit of crimp here and there just to add some better wave to it. I also didn't come all the way down that one. Okay, let's grab this one and do the same. And then we can move on. Oh my gosh, I'm missing all these comments. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and read comments. Alyssa wants it, Tammy wants it, Jessica wants it, Kayla has it and loves it. Kayla's hair looks adorable in it. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna take this last strand and this is a pretty big chunk. So I'm actually gonna separate a little bit. I think I did the big chunks too big in the back of my head, so who knows how that will turn out. It's my first time, y'all. And you can see I'm pretty successful for my first time out. So you can do it too, I promise. This would be a great gift for um, anybody, really, of all ages. This hearkening harkens me back to like my high school days. So, <clears throat> Put in the comments what decade you went to high school. I was in high school in the 80s. I graduated from high school in the 80s, okay? Um, we used to do this thing called crimping. Mm -hmm. We crimped our hair. We put a side ponytail up just like this and have the crimps, but you wouldn't crimp. You would not crimp up. Oh, I'm not supposed to be doing the ends. Oh my God, look what happened when I crimped the ends. Can you see that? I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Um, so we would do this really cool side ponytail, but high up because, you know, it had to shoot up and then come down. And then we would crimp only the ponytail. Mm -hmm. If 
fun fact. I just moved on without the beep. See how I'm pushing that towards my head and not pulling it away? I want those waves to set and cool. Jessica wants it. You better be going out tonight with this gorgeous hair. I won't be going out tonight because I do have to work. Oh my gosh, Tiffany got it for Valentine's Day. Okay, let's look back here. I mean, I feel like, okay, I feel like it's all right. Let's keep moving. I, it's the top that I'm nervous about. Should I be nervous, y'all? Should I be? I bought it for myself for my birthday. My husband's not gonna know what to buy. Ooh, I've got an idea. We create a wish list, right? Okay, so I do wear my hair parted on one side. So let's figure out how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take this hair. I wanna do the back part first. Let's, let's section out this top back part. It's kind of got short hairs up there. And I'm gonna brush that out and then separate it. Do I have some stray hairs? No, I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna separate this into two. And then we're just gonna crimp going up. Now remember, I'm doing it a certain direction so that the hair lifts up and away from my head. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Can you see the shine? Do y'all see that? My hair was not looking that shiny just a second ago. Look at the difference between crimped and not. Ooh. Ooh. I lost control. Oh, I lost control again. Okay, there we go. Crimp. I got some crazy edges out there. That's a little too long in my opinion. Do y'all see how long that end is? <laughs> Maybe I don't want it that much. I think I crimped this. We'll see. Okay, so we're gonna throw that back. Look how it comes off my head. Do you see that? It comes off my head because of how I did, how I positioned the tool. Now let's do this one. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go like this. Maybe if I turn to the side, I can be more successful. And you just literally move to the next section. Let me do this up like that so y'all can see. Okay. Oh my gosh, all these comments. Yes. I'll be listening to disco <laughs> while getting ready. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I was listening to confession time. Confession time. And y'all, now if I confess something, y'all have to confess something, okay? You totally do. Do you know what I listened to today? The Grease soundtrack. I mean, talking about hearkening old days from high, I mean, from elementary school. Actually, I don't even think I was, yeah, elementary school. Grease. I listened to the Grease soundtrack today. Can you believe that? So now y'all tell me some sort of confession so that I don't feel so bad. Thank you, Michelle. I would love, <clears throat> I would love more volume. I'm 62 and thin hair, and let me move, and thin hair would be so much fun. Okay, 
this is almost the end and then we're doing the top and then we're going to shake it out and see what's going on. if you are looking for volume this tool is amazing wait till i shake it out so Lange, tell me um oh my gosh y'all like the texture and you saw the shine right the difference between me not doing it and doing it the difference in shine um i mean you cannot get better than that. Part of that is the tool and the technology that's used to create the tool. And part of that is the heat protectant. Um, so don't sleep. First of all, see how I'm getting in there and I'm going to press down and let me turn this way so you can see it a little bit better. And literally the first curve needs to be up and away if you're wanting volume. If you're wanting, if you have very voluminous hair and you're wanting it to kind of be tamed down a little bit flip it the opposite direction i will show you in just a second um, i'm not going to crimp my hair with it but i will show you the direction i'm talking about so instead of doing it up like this to where see it comes up and out like that if instead of doing it like this you would turn it and you would do your hair like that and then that first press is going to be down. So if, you're, if your pain point is that your hair is way too bushy and you want it to be wavy but not so bulky, hold it upside down. Okay, there we go. And look, we've got our little tail out here and we're gonna be just fine, just fine. Me too, Susan. And then tomorrow morning when I do my makeup, this one isn't as crimped, but that's okay. That's all right. We're not going to stress. We are not going to stress people. Okay. So let's talk about the, this side over here. I have a very specific way that I do my hair. You saw that when, um, I, when I brushed my hair out, I don't know that that I'm going to, I'm not going to be able to duplicate that with a crimper, right? With a deep waver like this, but I like more volume on this side because I side part, right? Much to my daughter's dismay. She wants me to do middle part. I'm like, mama too old for that. Too old, okay? But I like a side part and I like more volume and texture on this side. So I'm actually gonna make a choice to do a little smaller sections right here to kind of give myself a little bit of layered volume on this side. Now, because I'm doing thinner sections, I'm probably, I'm not really gonna wait for the timer, I don't think. I think that's a safe bet. Although I have it a way under 400. I can't do the middle part. It just doesn't feel right, Andrea, me neither. Do y'all, who has a middle part? I wanna know if y'all have middle parts or side parts. And in that same comment, put your age. Cause I'm 51 and I can't do a middle part. Is that a generational thing? But my daughter can't do a side part and she's 14. Oh my gosh, I think that she's gonna love this tool. She's got long hair with curtain bangs. Look at that. Do we need to have a cupcake for our birthday? I have one back here. I have cupcakes little mini cupcakes. Oh, and the hair elixir. I promised y'all I would tell y'all what my routine was on Sunday night. I did the hair elixir. I did a scalp massage with the scalp Savour. I put the hair elixir on my scalp and massaged my scalp. And then I took that hair elixir and I literally coated my hair with it, put it up in a, in a bun. Well, it's a knot because my hair is so thin and I slept in it. And don't be afraid, I'm telling you, that is a game changer. Every single person that I've suggested that to has come back to me and said that it has bettered their hair immediately. You immediately notice the softness, the shine, the elasticity, the, um, So again, the hair elixir, snag that on the Mother's Day sale and put it all over your hair. And I know the instructions will say um, to do to leave it on for 20 minutes. I leave it on overnight. 
Here's the thing about hair, ladies. Do not be afraid that that's going to make your hair or your scalp oily the next day. You're gonna shampoo and you're gonna shampoo twice and it's gonna get any excess oil that your hair did not soak up out when you shampoo, okay? Here's the deal. When your hair is thirsty and most naturally curly headed girls have thirsty hair and most women who use a lot of hot tools might have some thirsty hair. This is how you prevent your hair from drying out. You do this every Sunday night, make this a part of your routine. And your hair will soak up what it needs and leave the rest of it on the surface to be washed away later. So the nutrients are in your hair cuticle. And so it's got so many great nourishing ingredients in it that, let me get this last little piece, um, that your hair has no choice but to be softer, stronger, more vibrant, have more elasticity, and be more moisturized the next day. Your hair has no choice. Um, I do that when smooth, um, which is now back in stock, and I'm happy for it. When Smooth is in stock and I was buying it regularly, I would do that one Sunday night and then do Hair Elixir the next Sunday night when I was on my journey to get my hair back. Cause y'all, I jacked my hair up real bad. I lost over a hundred pounds and lost half my hair. And in panic stricken mode, I went to start straightening it like a crazy person. That's how I learned that when you put heat protectant on your hair, it doesn't protect your hair when it's wet and your, and your iron is 450 degrees when it shouldn't be. So, you know, making smarter choices and using products to heal my hair made a huge difference for me. What's that? What's happening? Y'all. I can't. I love it. I love it. Okay. Look at how this is lifting up away from my head. Okay. Do we have a winner? What's the difference with crimping the way you are? I have been doing barrel side up. Um, Lee, barrel side up like that is going to, the big difference is, is how it comes off your head. Okay. So can you see right here how it comes out and up? I'm wanting that lift to be away from my scalp for multiple reasons. My hair is three days dirty. Okay. Number two, number one, number two, I don't like the, I don't like the look of my face is not a great shape for having hair right next to my face. It just looks weird to me. So I like a little bit of lift away from my hair, even when I'm not wearing my hair like this. In fact, this is the very first time I've ever done this. This is the first time I'm using this tool on my entire head of hair. So, um, but you can see it comes out in a way, it comes up in a way, it's creating volume. When you do it the other way, it's going to take that volume and tamp it down for you and have the wave start a little bit closer to your head. Now, let me get my favorite tool of all time, this, and I don't even know if it's in stock, but if it is not in stock, I need you to put your email in for it. I use this every single day. Every single day. It will never break. It's a carbon tip. It's never gonna break. Look how cute I am. It's never gonna break. It is absolutely the best rat tail. I don't even know that that's what they call it, but um, I call it a rat tail comb. Tippy and I went to school around the same time. She reminded me, she was like, girl, that's a rat tail comb. I'm like, oh my God, it totally is. So anyway, uh, I use that to make my parts. So here, let me turn this way and maybe you can see Lee. When I crimp, the first crimp closest to my head goes up, not down when I hold it like this. If you hold it barrel side up, the first crimp goes down. It presses your hair closer to your head. Do you see that? Can y'all see that? Hopefully y'all can. Now I have a ton of product in my hair from what I did because I didn't wash my hair. So y'all see steam coming off. That's a whole bunch of like miracle shine spray. 
Mirage, uh, Minaj Manula, Marula Oil Mist. We can keep this like that. Oh my gosh. Wait till I shake that out. Here we go. Last few pieces. So, so are we clear now on what the difference is between doing barrel up and barrel down? I'm gonna take this section. And again, remember, I want a lot of volume over here. So I'm taking small pieces. And that first crimp is up and over like that. I can't wait to see how much volume it has. Now, Lange, tell me, do I shake it out? Do I pick it out? Do I use like the carbon tip? What do you think is the best way those of you who have the tool, because you know this is my first time ever using this on my whole entire head. Here's an example of how you can literally take something out of a box, use it for the first time, and because of the way they designed this and the, the mechanism to time it and, all, and the barrel shape to where you can like literally go to the next thing so easily and know where to crimp next, it's literally foolproof. Literally foolproof okay look at that i i'm gonna be in love with this sign i can already tell let me let me work from the bottom up this might be a pretty big chunk now back in the day in the 80s we didn't do close to our face like because we had those crazy bangs i would call it the claw you know the one that goes like this and then the other one that goes like that um you would do like a curling iron down and then a curling iron back, but you would spray your hair with hairspray and then do the curling iron. Do you know how bad that was for our hair? No heat protectant. Did heat protectant even exist in the 1980s? I really don't think so. I always <laughs> head bang after I cramp. Okay, Danielle. So I should just shake my hair back and forth. And Evie Lou says, I think I even want this. Poor Anna V. Lou saw me and my cousin Kelly and Shannon with all kinds of, um, I think I want to crimp this in because it naturally curls and I want to kind of bend it out a little bit. All kinds of crazy hairstyles. Right, Anna V. Lou? Me and Kelly would be in the bathroom with our hair, with our Aquanet. Mm -hmm. And our crazy, remember every Thanksgiving I would leave like my curling irons at your house? It was just an excuse to come back and get it. hot curling irons. They didn't have temperature gauges on them. They just literally had an on button and an off button. That's it. No controlling. The tools that Lange makes, they're so thoughtful about what works and what people need. Do you know what I mean? What people need. Lisa's, I can't wait to try this on my hair. I have super fine hair and need all the volume I can get. Lee, you were using it the other direction too and you have fine hair? Were you satisfied with the outcome? Can you do something? Can you do me a favor, Lee? If you do that, will you message me a picture on this page? I have a messenger. You can message me. If anybody has questions, they can always message me. Um, but I would love to see what it looks like. So I have fine hair too. My hair is fine and I lost half of it in a weight loss journey. Okay, last one. And then we'll look to see if we need touch-ups. Now, I'm gonna go in like this. Cause again, I want that, I want up and then over. That's the old 80s girl in me, okay? That's okay, Lee. I don't know if I'm doing the bangs right. We'll see. Oh, you've used it on your daughter's hair. I love their products. I'm still waiting for the smaller barrel brush dryer. Um, and if you Lou, there's the 60, and then there's the La Volume Play that has the 42 or 43 millimeter barrel, which is perfect. And I can actually show that to you. I have it right here because I use it on the regular. I, look at that. Look at the shine. 
Look how shiny. I might not even need. I pulled out some remedy. I don't. I might not even need it. This one might need a little bit better crimping, don't you think? Right there. It can be. Yes, launch. It totally can be with very minimal effort and very little upswing, like learning curve. Do you know what I mean? Like this is the first time. Okay. So I have this little piece right here and I always kind of go up and over. So let's look and see if I went too big on some spots. The underneath probably I went too big on. Oh, I do see some pieces back here that I completely, I think I completely missed. So let's just get a few little snags right there and do that. I don't even know what time it is. Oh my gosh, we are running so late. There. I am so sorry that this took so long, y'all, but I had fun. A great way to spend my birthday. How many tools have we getting, given away, Lange? How many, um, how many shares do we have? We want to give away more than one tool, okay? Let's see. I think, so I'm gonna turn around. I can't see it, but you guys can. I went a little too thick in the back, I think, as far as like the chunks of hair. Do I, do y do I have any spots that I need to crimp? Should I ask my son? Do you think he'd be a really good judge? Three tools? Okay, I can't wait to see who won. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now, Danielle says she headbangs her hair when she crimps. So I'm going to try that, okay? I think first for me, because I like a lot of volume right here, I think I'm going to get my hands like in my hair and kind of just start to shake back and forth a little bit. Oh my God, it's growing. Okay. Now, I'm going to, I probably, let me just shake like this. I kind of want to do this up a little bit higher. Or, oh, I know, this goes back like that. Yes, like this. Like, look at that. This is like I was at the beach all day and my hair, this is what I'm talking about, ladies. I have naturally curly hair. Let me get this piece. I have naturally curly hair. I thought for sure that I did not need a waiver because I have naturally curly hair, right? John, can you come, can you bring me my iPad, please? Um, okay. I'm going to show them a picture of my natural hair. There we go. Just get that a little. Now. Thank you, love. You're say welcome. hi to, say hi. Oh. Y'all, this is my son, John. Hello, hi. He's gonna be getting a wish list from me for Mother's Day of launch products that I want and possibly other tools that I want. Um, and so he's, his job is gonna be to tell his dad what's on mommy's wish list for Mother's Day. He has, he already has my link and he's gonna be given the code MOM2022 so that daddy can save on Mother's Day gifts. Okay, I'm gonna find y'all a picture of my hair curly. If I can find, where's my albums? Oh my God, my husband's home. Okay. Where's all the curly haired pictures? Here we go. That's what my hair looks like naturally, right there. If you know anything about curly hair, it never, like this was a good hair day, hence I took a picture. Hair never cur dries curly. Oh, hold on. The same way twice ever naturally curly hair does it. This is a way that I can have some control over my curve curls and get that beachy wave look 
and the volume that I want with this tool. So now I'm going to take a little bit of some Miracle Light Shine Spray, Conditioning Shine Spray. I mean, the tool made my hair so shiny and I'm literally just going to scrunch it in there. Um, and I'm probably for hold. I'm probably going to avoid hairspray right now. Seriously, Max? Oh, honey. Can y'all hear her? Um, my husband yelling. I'm going to take some sea and salt, some salt and sea spray. I'm going to spray that in my hair too. This is going to be my alcohol free alternative to a bit of hairspray. I don't want a lot. Let's, let's get that back. What's up, hot stuff? Hey, babe, what do you think? Mm. Yeah? yeah? My husband likes it, y'all. He likes it. Yeah, uh, later tonight, y'all. Okay. <laughs> he likes it. So, you know, what's important is that I like it. Now, let me give y'all a 360, just so y'all can see. Fluff that. Now remember, I have thin hair, so. I love it. I love it. Can, I can't wait to like do a half up, half down with this. <gasps> right? I'm telling you. All right. Thank y'all so much for spending my birthday with me. I'm going to go have a steak and some cupcakes. Um, oh, just to turn it off, I think you just press it home. Yeah, it's off. It's got auto shut off after 60 minutes. So, um, thank y'all so much for um, spending my birthday with me. The tools, I mean, the everything on launch is anywhere from 30 to 70% off right now. Go check out the website. If you have any questions, you can always message me here on this page, Authentic Beauty with Tara D. I'm Tara D. And then you can join me. You can like and follow this page and join me for other hair journeys and other things. Um, and then get your wish list out. Give your husbands the link here and the code and have them get you your, your Mother's Day gift early. right? All right. Thank y'all so much. And we will see y'all later. Thank you, Lange.